You got some official picks. Yep. Well, let's go on and dive into that. These are our official picks for week seven. These are the ones that we actually have our money on. So, uh, I will go ahead and start us off, Chris. I am rolling Panthers plus seven and a half at the Saints. I think Teddy Two Gloves is going to come out and keep this game at least super close. And I think Carolina's got a shot to actually win the game. These division games in the NFC South are going to be something to behold this year. And and I love the Panthers in this spot. I think they have shown up in a big, big, big way. I know they lost last week. That's okay. I got them, I got them this week at the Saints. I'm going with the Panthers as well. We'll move this thing along pretty quickly. All right. Game number two for me, I'm taking Arizona at home against the Seahawks. Everybody loves Seattle in this spot. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Give me the Cardinals. I think that they're going to show up in a big-time way. They always do in division games. They have been on the road for a bit. They're getting to come back home. I think this is a spot where they could possibly get a win. I don't like the Seattle defense. I I do like Kyler Murray, and I like what those guys are doing. Uh, Hopkins is like the perfect security blanket for them. Give me the Cardinals plus three and a half. I'm going to go the other way. I like Seattle. I think Russell Wilson, D.K. Metcalf, uh, the, the Arizona's defense has no stop for those guys. Lockett will be big. Carson will be able to run. This offense will roll against Arizona. And Arizona's offense, they got problems. They need to figure some things out, man. They are not good. They have not looked good the last two weeks in a row. I do not trust them at all. Totally fair. Totally fair. Game number three for me. We talked about this one already. Denver Broncos at home getting 10 and a half. I've got them 10 and a half at bet online right now. Uh, that's the way that I am rolling. I'm going to go ahead and take that hook over the 10. I think the Broncos in a snowstorm, in foul weather, etc. Keep this game close. I think the Chiefs are going to take it a little bit easy here because that's just what they seem to do now. They play against a, a team that they feel like is a threat to their throne in the Bills. They did the same thing against the Ravens, and then the next week kind of took the week off, doing the same thing here. The Bills, everybody talked about Josh Allen, how good he is. They talked about the Bills possibly winning the AFC, or that's who they might face in the AFC championship game. And Patrick Mahomes and them boys ate him up. I think the same thing happens here. The week after one of those, they kind of take the week off a little bit, and the game ends up closer than expected. Uh, give me the Broncos plus 10 and a half. I hate to do this on McKinnon's uh, great special day, but his Falcons got to where they got their one win for the new coach, for the new regime. This is what happens. It happens all the time. His coach gets fired. Bad teams look really good for a week. And go ask the Texans how you look on the second week. I, give me the Lions. Lions plus two, wrong team's favorite here. Lions been playing much, much better lately, and they're just the better football team. They're, they're going to win this game outright. Plus two, got it. Sounds like a plan to me. I am rolling with your New England Patriots in game number four here. I like the Patriots minus one and a half. Uh, you can catch that over at Pinnacle, and you're going to have to grab it quick if you're going to do it because, oh, no, Bet Mania's got it. A couple other spots have still got one and a half. Uh, give me... The Pats, minus one and a half. Everybody and their mother is betting San Francisco. It opened at five and a half, and it is now all the way down to one and a half. Pats, with a week to actually prepare, no COVID positives, all that kind of mess, they are actually going to have time to develop a game plan, and Bill Belichick has Kyle Shanahan's number. Shanahan coming off a big-time division win over the Rams, having to travel across the country. Give me Bill Belichick in this spot. I think Cam is going to show up a lot better this week than he did last week. Uh, I think the Pats are, uh, I, I'm not going to say a better football team. I'm just going to say they are the more prepared team. I think they show up in this spot. I think they they easily cover a point and a half. Yeah, I like that. I like that pick. Uh, give me Chicago, plus six. That is that is one of my official picks. Uh, going to the Rams, I once again, I just don't think L.A. is a very good football team right now. And uh, I think their record is a little bit um, misleading at best. I, I was expecting so, you to say fraudulent there. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll go go with something not as harsh. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the Bears are, are looking good, and um, and and they, I think they're the better football team in this matchup. No, that uh, that certainly makes sense. My last game here, I am going to roll with the Buffalo Bills, coming off of two absolutely dreadful performances. They maybe could not have looked any worse than they did in the last two games, uh, getting destroyed 
by the Tennessee Titans and then got kind of beat up by the Chiefs as well. Uh, Chiefs ran all over them. They couldn't do anything through the air. Josh Allen, of course, went from MVP to the outhouse very, very quickly. Bills minus 13. I know it's a lot of points. Did you know that double-digit dogs in the last 19 games, or sorry, double-digit favorites in the last 19 games in the NFL are 16-2-1 against the spread? Yeah, I did. Though, over the last, like, 20 years or 10 years, it just used to be like clockwork. If you got a double-digit dog, you take it in the NFL, yada, yada, yada. What we're finding is the separation between the really good teams when they play the really bad teams and you get these big, massive numbers that that the big the better team is beating them badly because the gap between the really good and the really bad is just getting wider and wider. Um, and that's why you're getting bigger numbers and bigger numbers covering at a much better rate, much better rate. You've got that right. The Jets have not covered a single game all season long. They have been destroyed by everybody. Uh, I mean, just the, the whole shebang, right? Buffalo beat and him Flacco by... Flacco looks awful. Yes. Like, he's awful. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that said, give me the Bills minus 13. These, give the me the, jet, this yeah. jet seems Give me awful. the Bills minus 13. Make it 14. Make it 16. Make it 18. It did I- anything under 21, which you don't get those spreads in, in, in the NFL. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This Bills team is pissed off, and they're looking to kick the shit out of somebody, and they are going to go into New York, and they are going to kick the shit. They're going to go to Jersey, and they're going to kick the shit out of the Jets. Yes, I agree. All right, so that is five for both of us, right? That's it. That works for me. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you for letting us take up some of your afternoon as always. Props to our boy McKinnon. Props to Big M Hawk for losing that 70 pounds. You keep that stuff going, brother. We uh, we appreciate the inspiration for sure. Uh, Chris, is there anything else that we need to hit on? That's it, man. That is it. Uh, everybody go out and see Smith and Myers tonight, the Shine Down duo over at the Malco Summer Drive-In in in Memphis if you are in the area. Uh, My wife and I will be out there sitting in the back of the van, probably eating Chick-fil-A and drinking a Coors Light. So (laughs) it's going to be a good time. Uh, With that said, go over to winningcureseverything.com. Go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. Make sure you are subscribed here. Make sure you are subscribed to the podcast as well. And make sure you are subscribed to uh, the SBR YouTube page because Saturday morning we will be going live with our college football closing line show uh, let's see, Chris, I appreciate the time today. I know it's been a busy day, but we, uh, we love you and I'm glad that we're back on a regular ass schedule. <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. You guys have been great. Uh, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we will see you again on Friday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet.